Hey, it's me, MLB. Here's chapter 19 of Serendipity. This one is titled Saved, Take 3. Deku's mind was going just as fast as his legs were. He had mapped out a mental route of how to get to the apartment block, but the pin drop only gave the building location and not the building or level number. How am I going to know what level she's on? Multi would be getting close by now. If he's not already there, he might try and move her. He tore around the final corner and jumped the fence to the apartment instantly. Windows, he thought, as he landed and prepared to launch up the side of the building. I might catch a glimpse of her. His eyes scanned quickly along each window as he leapt up the building wall, using balcony ledges and drain pipes as footing as he powered up to the roof. He flew up and over the ledge and crouched there a second, panting furiously. Ah, oh, this isn't going to work. I need to find her location. Suddenly below, he heard a muffled scream. Launching into action, without a second thought, he sprinted to the edge of the building and swung over the edge, falling down the side of the apartment block. The scream came again from the seventh floor, just above where he'd passed on his way down. He activated his quirk and slammed his feet into the balcony ledge, propelling himself back up and Detroit smashing his way through the window. Multi, still in his villain form, had managed to rip some of your clothing off, but hadn't gotten too far into it, anything apart from placing kisses across your exposed stomach when the bedroom window exploded and Deku came hurling through. You screamed as shards of glass flew everywhere and you rolled off the bed and onto the floor to protect yourself. Your captor had let you go and had seemingly disappeared. You stayed down with your head covered until you heard Deku's voice. You looked up and saw him standing on the other side of the bed, panting furiously as his loving eyes met yours. Yin, he breathed, relief washing over his face. Are you okay? No, you're not Izuku, you screeched, backing away pulling your shirt close and trying to hide your body. What? what? Y Yin, it's okay, I'm here. No, you're not! I'm not falling for that again! You yelled in a shaky voice, tears pricking at the corner of your eyes. Deku froze. What had happened? Why didn't you believe it was him? Izuku? Another voice called from outside the bedroom, and another person who looked just like you turned up in the bedroom doorway. Deku looked from you to the other you and back again. Your forms were identical, both had the same dishevelled look and all. The other you stumbled towards Deku, crying and falling into his arms. Please help me, she sobbed. Deku embraced her and held her close. No, you yelled, standing up. That's not me! Wait, what if you're not the real Izuku? The other you suddenly screamed and pushed off Deku. The poor man looked completely confused. He looked wildly from you back to your double. Which one is Yin? he thought. I need to identify the villain here so I can take him out. Okay, Deku said firmly. What was written on the note that I wrote to you when you received the flowers in your office? The other you scoffed. You seriously don't trust me at all, do you? Thank you for being you, he replied quickly, relieved that he was indeed the real Izuku and doubly relieved that he'd been able to find a way to tell which of you was the real one and which was the fake in an instant. He immediately grabbed for the other you and their form disintegrated into slime. He chased the retreating, sloshing mess out into the living area and tried to cage it with solid objects, but it was obvious that Multi was crafty and definitely didn't want to be caught. Disappearing down the little drain pipe, Deku failed to catch him, much to his displeasure. He turned quickly and ran back to the bedroom, entering and making his way to where you were trying to fix yourself up. Izuku, I'm so sorry, I... Last night, you... He... You broke down in tears. Deku grabbed you in a grateful embrace and buried his face into your neck. Yin, he mumbled in a quivering voice. Are you okay? I thought I'd lost you. I was so worried. You sobbed as he held you, and you held him back. Did he hurt you? Deku asked with gentle concern as he pulled his face back to look at you. You shook your head. No, you saved me in the nick of time for the third time now, you said with a slightly hitched laugh, trying to calm your crying and make, it, make light of the situation now that it was over. He pulled back and took your face in his hands, wiping your tears away with his thumbs. I'm here now, okay? I'm just glad you're okay, he said with a soft smile, and you started crying all over again. Y Yin, what happened? Please don't cry. Why are you crying so hard? He asked as you sobbed with relief that you actually had the real him back. Last night, you sobbed. He came to my house in your form and broke up with me. Deku scowled as he turned his head around to look at where he had lost the villain down the pipe. I'll catch him and make him pay, he said in the most serious tone you'd ever heard. For now... We need to get you to the hospital. You have cuts all over you. I'm so sorry, he said, ripping a piece of his costume and using it to bandage a particularly deep cut on your arm. 
Thank you, Izuku, said softly as he picked you up bridal style and carried you to, out of the apartment. After your assessment at the hospital, they let you go. Apart from being a bit scratched up and tired, you were fine. But you never wanted to be apart from Izuku again, and it was obvious that he was thinking the same thing. Uh, y Yin? he asked as you two left the hospital side by side. Would you c consider living with me at my place with me? He asked shyly, repeating his words and fumbling over them as he looked down at his fingers and fiddled with them. The end of that chapter. Deku is a baby and needs to be protected. He's so cute. Stay tuned for chapter 20.